Hi all, welcome to part two in this video lesson on creating a simple golf putting game in Objective-C. We're going to jump back into the uh, implementation file, viewcontroller.m, and paste a method called place ball. This is going to handle uh, some, some tasks that were done elsewhere. Uh, namely, we're sending the alpha of the ball image to one and we're enabling user interaction. And then we're placing the ball, we're initializing the placement of the ball image halfway across the screen and 85% of the way down using this line. Um, that means that within view did load, we want to call self, um, we want to call uh, place ball using this, uh, this line, self place ball that will ensure that the ball is is initialized properly and uh, with that in place we can remove the alpha from there and we can clean up a few other things we can remove the interaction enabling from here and there so if the ball comes to a stop by hitting the hole we're going to get to this point right here where the cursor is and if it stops due to friction it'll get here and we could just call place ball but what what will happen actually I'll show you what will happen let's just do it in this friction part let's run it in the simulator and you'll see that when I swipe the ball, it immediately, right after it stops, it goes back to this, this position, which isn't really horrible, but it doesn't give the user any time to, to digest what happened, especially if the ball goes in the hole. It's just going to pop right out and go, and go back to the initial position. So what we're going to do is add a timer. So let's go back up to the top and paste in another timer we'll call it place ball timer and then we're going to put it in the code in we're going to uh, put a line of code in two spots one is right here which means we're going to uh, set a timer that fires in one second and it's going to call this place ball method that that we added that means that the ball will sit still uh, in the cup for one second and then it will go back to the initial position or if it misses the cup um, it'll it'll stop due to our simulated friction and then one second later it'll go back to the initial position uh, so I need to remove this uh, method call and let's run this in the simulator Okay, so let's try this out. The ball moves, it comes to a stop, and then it gets, and then it sits there. Oop, a little too far. Sits there for about a second, and then pops back. It goes in the hole, sits in the hole, and then pops out after a second. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now that we have the basics in place, let's make this game a little bit more interesting by adding a tilt or a slope to the green and what we're going to do is add another property let's put it here it'll be an integer called tilt speed and um, actually I'm going to remove this strong just to be consistent since I'm up here now let's jump back to the storyboard and we're going to drag two image views. Let's put this one here. Uh, duplicate it. Command D. That one there. Let's call this top this top one left arrow, and this bottom one right arrow. And these are just images that we uh, imported in lesson one. 
Let's change the alpha on these to something. Let's say 0.4. Open the assistant editor. Let's grab this top one and shift drag. Oop, excuse me, not shift drag. Control drag over here. Um, that's an outlet. We'll call that left tilt. Let's control drag this bottom one. Call that right tilt. And I should have added a label earlier, to, uh, but I can do that now. Let's put this label right here. And let's control drag over here and call this tilt label. And I'll explain these obviously in a minute. So now we have those properties in place. Let's go, let's get out of the assistant editor and let's make this a little bit bigger. Make sure it's centered. Also align the text in the center and let's make the text color white. And actually we can remove the, the word label from there like that. Okay, let's go back to the code, and I'm going to paste in a method here that I copied. It's a little bit long, uh, but I will go through it. It's called add tilt, and um, what we're doing is we're setting up a minimum and maximum tilt range. Uh, minimum is negative nine, max is nine. We have a a string called tilt string. Uh, then we're going to generate a random number that's between negative nine and nine, and we do this. We do that with with this command: arc for random modulo. You take the max minus the min, and you add one. So max minus min is nine minus negative nine, which is eighteen. We add one that's nineteen. So this item here will return a random number between 0 and 18, and then we add min tilt. So let me just make a little comment here. We have 0 to 18, and then we're going to add the uh, min, min tilt, which is negative 9. So the end result is that the smallest value will be 0, minus 9, or negative 9, and the largest value will be 18, minus 9, or 9, and that's exactly what we want. Uh, then we're going to hide the uh, arrow images that we just added, and, um, and we're going to do a, a few tests here. If the tilt speed is 0, uh, we're going to set up that uh, label with the uh, string flat. We're not going to display an arrow, it's just going to have the word flat. If the tilt speed is 1, um, it's going to put the number between um, negative 9 and 9, not including 0. Actually, it's just going to put 1 uh, in here and it's going to say 1 inch. Um, and we're going to unhide the right arrow. And actually, there's an easier way to do this now that I think about it. I can just say one inch here. And um, if the tilt speed is greater than one, we're going to use this string. And all I did that's different is, is uh, put the word inches instead of inch. Uh, down here, I can say uh, tilt string is one inch, and even though the tilt speed is negative one, I'm still going to say one inch, but we're going to show the left arrow. We don't want to say negative, we don't want to display negative numbers, we just want the proper arrow displayed. Uh, lastly, if the tilt speed is less than negative one, we're going to display uh, the 
left arrow and we're going to put in the, the tilt in, in inches. And lastly, so what we've been doing is just setting up the string and then we will assign that, uh, we will assign the text label the value of that string. Now, when we place the ball, we have to call add tilt. So let's do that and spell it right. And then let's run that. Okay, this is starting to take shape. We have the green here. Uh, this is showing a right arrow uh, and the number is nine inches. Now let's, we're not gonna see a tilt at this stage, but let's roll the ball. When it stops, it should generate a new random number. Now it generated nine inches again, and hopefully that's just a coincidence. Let's roll it again. And sure enough, it's, it's changing. It's changing the arrow direction and it's changing the tilt label. So that's that's good. And one thing I noticed is that the ball was rolling under the arrow, and we want we want the ball to roll over the arrow or arrows. So we have to go back over here and let's move these arrows over here. That way the ball will be on top. And we're gonna we're gonna put the label we're gonna put the label under the ball as well. And now let's line these up. Just make this look a little bit nicer. We'll drag this label in here, and now everything should look a lot better. Let's run it in the simulator again. And what do you know? It's actually looking pretty decent. Of course, the ball's not tilting, but we're going to add that in a minute. Looking pretty good. All right, let's put the finishing touches on this. All we need to do at this point is go back to viewcontroller.m, find the move ball method and make one slight change. At this point, we're going to paste in this tilt speed. So let's look at this ball image dot center. It's the old center plus the ball velocity in the x direction plus the tilt speed. The tilt is only going to affect the x dimension. The y speed is not affected at all by the tilt. So let's run this in the simulator and give it a go. If we swipe, you'll see a slight turn because these that tilt was only two inches. Here's a three inch tilt and it went in the cup. Let's try a two inch tilt. Went in, you can tell I've been practicing. Two inches, flat, should be a no brainer. 7 inches, let's try this, missed it. And you can play around with this tilt speed. I can I could put a factor of 2 here and really make the screen slippery. So let's try this. And you can see that, it, that the ball's just going crazy. And if I accidentally put the ball to the left when the green is rolling left, you'll see that it just flies off the screen. So this is looking pretty good. You can play around with these numbers, the speed, the tilt, fine tune it to your liking. Uh, I hope that this lesson has been helpful. Please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and check out my website www.lfeldman.com for links to my apps and please tell your friends, coworkers, etc. about my channel. Get them to subscribe and get them to look at my apps. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks.